Hi, pharmacist Benjamin I. Fuchs here to tell you a little bit today about acne, a scourge of Western and industrialized cultures. Acne is a vast subject with zillions of pages of research describing various aspects of it, plus you've got zillions of websites and products, and I'd venture to say not an insignificant percentage of our national dollars spent are spent addressing this ubiquitous and unnecessary skin issue. I do a lecture where I describe seven different causes or activators of the acne lesion and acneic skin, but really all you have to know when it comes to addressing acne can be summed up with a few basic ideas. The skin manifests internal health issues, and if you get healthy, you won't have acne. The idea of treating acne without treating the body as a whole is flawed and really doesn't make much sense. We know that the skin is the body's largest organ, meaning it's an organ that needs to be addressed as such. So the first strategy for dealing with acne, work on digestive health. If there are lesions on the cheeks and perhaps the mouth area, so-called periorbital acne, almost guaranteed you got food and digestive issues that need to be corrected. Keep this in mind. Redness and rashes are always immune system reactions, and immune system reactions, with rare exceptions, are about the digestive system. T-zone issues, oily skin issues, typically involve insulin and stress hormones. And this next consideration involves blood sugar control. There's an interesting relationship between insulin, blood sugar, and stress hormones, all of which accelerate cell division, cell growth, secretions to make matters worse. Without key nutrients, this blood sugar instability can be exacerbated, ultimately leading to the oily skin, oily skin plugs and comedones that result in blackheads and whiteheads, especially in the T-zone area. Did you know acne used to be called type 3 diabetes? back in the day, and pharmacists used to treat acne with diabetic drugs. Reduce calories, relax the body. This will slow things down. Especially avoid high carb foods and high sugar foods. Especially avoid fried fats. These can also be problematic. Use other building nutrients, nutrients that help the body handle sugar and digestive health supplements, including zinc picolinate, a must have, vitamin C, another must have, selenium, sulfur, NAC. These are all important to name a few. Uh, also, make sure you get on a good probiotic supplement to take care of digestive health issues and enjoy your fermented veggies, another great source of probiotics. From a topical perspective, retinol can be amazingly helpful. Likewise, salicylic acid. Try using Truth Treatment's retinol gels and Truth Treatment's peppermint salicylic cleanser. For individual comedones, Truth Treatment's retinol roller is made with vitamin C, it's made with retinol, it's made with salicylic acid, and it even has vitamin E. It comes in easy to use and easy to apply roller form. You can carry it around with you. And if you catch your blemish early enough, you won't even get it. You'll know you're on the right track when your skin improves, which if you implement the preceding recommendations and custom design your own program just for you, guaranteed your skin is going to get better. Remember, healthy skin is beautiful skin. I'm pharmacist Benjamin I. Fuchs. I know you are going to love the truth.